Hello everyone, welcome back to Beatly Tones Beatles channel. Uh, lovely to have you here. Thanks for joining me for this video and I hope you're all doing well. Now, this morning I've been watching uh, the Help movie or I've been trying to watch the Help movie uh, because I hope I'm not putting myself out on a, on a limb here um, and I'm the only one. I'm sure I'm not. Um, but I really, really struggle uh, with the Help movie. I kind of get everything about it. I get that it's of its time. I get it's a bit of fun. It's not supposed to be taken seriously. Um, but I really struggle uh, to get through it. I always have. I've always struggled uh, to get through it. Hard Day's Night, which is, you know, it's along the same sort of lines, uh, but not quite as contrived. Um, I absolutely love, I've never ever got bored of Hard Day's Night or even uh, Magical Mystery Tour. Um, but help I have always struggled with and uh, I, didn't ma I didn't manage to get all the way through it uh, today but I just think that, that you know it's not it's not the Beatles fault it's not the Beatles fault as you know I'm a massive Beatles fan and you know I support pretty much everything um, <laughs> that, they, that they've ever done um, but I just really struggle uh, with Hard Day's Night because the script is just a little bit rubbish isn't it? If we're absolutely honest, it's just a little bit rubbish. But there are seven moments in this film that absolutely uh, save it. Seven fantastic moments. And those are the scenes where we see, you know, the boys playing the seven songs. Help the night before. You've got to hide your love away. I need you. Another girl. You're going to lose that girl. And ticket to ride. They are the saving graces of the Help movie. Uh, for me, um, but what I want to talk about today is uh, is is this package, the uh, the Help Deluxe DVD uh, box set. Um, this is not something that I've recently picked up. Uh, Mrs. Beatley Time bought me this for Christmas in two thousand and seven, which was just a few weeks after uh, it it came out. Um, but I wanted to talk about it because um, I think this is a really good package, and if you are going to watch. The Help movie, and this is probably the best way uh, to watch it via this package. And um, you know, we don't. They, they did, uh, you know, a deluxe um, box set for Magical Mystery Tour, which was really good. I don't think it's as good as this, but it's it was it was really good. Um, but it makes me think about the the Let It Be film. Uh, you know, we've all been talking about this for several years. Uh, Apple promised it uh, when when we knew that Peter Jackson was doing. Uh, get back they promised that there was going to be an official release of the original Michael Lindsay Hogg cut of Let It Be they've let us down on that promise they've never fulfilled that promise and you know hopefully one day they will and you know if they do decide to give us a package uh, for Let It Be which you know really they should do because there does seem to be some sort of contractual issues with Disney Plus um, about putting out a proper, you know, a proper release of Peter Jackson's uh, cut of Get Back and his, you know, his 18 hour director's cut and all the extras, th all the things that could go with it, all the bonus features that could go with it. Um, you know, there does seem to be an issue. So you would think that Apple, having not been allowed to do anything with Get Back, would be kind of focused on let it be and try and get something out. But anyway, it hasn't ha it hasn't happened. But anyway, I want to talk about this uh, this help uh, box set. So uh, it comes with um, this sort of sheet on the back, which we've kind of been new used to getting on the back of these um, deluxe box sets. Um, I'm not going to read everything that's on it because uh, I'm going to tell you and we're going to go through it and I'm going to tell you everything that's on it. So it's kind of a no a no spoilers thing. But this is something that, that come, when when you buy this brand new seal, uh, this comes glued on the back. I've still got the glue there. But I just take it off because, uh, you know, I don't want it to get all creased up and stuff like that. So I just took it off and just stuck it inside the box. So the actual, the main, the main feature, uh, if you like, uh, look, looks like this. So it comes in a slip case uh, and that is it from the side. And when we open it up now this is very very flimsy uh it comes 
uh, wrapped up in this sort of uh, very cool, very cool, but very flimsy uh, paper. Now, I don't know if you can see that. It's got um, the Beatles and the Help uh, logo. And the, the sort of the paper's held in place with this sticker. My, uh, the stickiness of my sticker has, has now worn out. Um, but when you take the wrapper off, what do you get inside? Another slip case. Another slip case. It's like a double slip case bonanza. What could be better than that? A double slip case bonanza. Now inside the second slip case, we get um, two sort of books. Now I'll talk about this one first. So yeah, Beatles 2. Now I don't know if Beatles 2 was the original working title for the second uh, Beatles movie, which would make absolute sense uh, before they came up with Eight Arms to Hold You. Um, but, but held within these 120 bound pages is Richard Lester's uh, script for the movie, the entire thing. But it's not only uh, the script, it's the script including uh, Dick Lester's own uh, manual annotations, things that he changed um, while, you know, directing it and thinking that's not quite right, I'm gonna change that to this. And you can see all these little changes. And I was thinking, you know, if you're one of these people like me that can't actually get through the film, maybe you could just have it playing in the background and you can follow the script and see all the bits that changed. Uh, you know, that's a really interesting thing. I also had a really terrible idea. So my terrible idea is all the Beatles YouTubers could get together with their little scripts and perform our own version of the Help movie. It couldn't be any worse than the original, could it? Well, yeah, it could. It could be a lot worse. It will be a lot worse. It would be absolutely terrible. It would be terrible on toast. Uh, as far as uh, replicating the help movie. But I was just thinking about all the people that could be in it while inadvertently plugging their channels and all the people we could have in it. We could have Joe Mayo, me, Mr. Mayo, uh, Tom Agnotti, Andy Nichols, Ken Michaels, uh, Kit O'Toole, Beetle Dustino, um, Beetle Dave, my mate Beetle Dave from Derby, the other Beetle Dave, you know there's two Beetle Daves, two Beetle Daves, two Beetle Daves, there's only two Beetle Daves, there's Beetle Brad, he could be in it, uh, there's John Heaton, Andrew Dixon, if you're watching this, Andrew Darling, you could be my Ringo, send me your audition tape, there's Mr. Beatles Pro, uh, Mr. Beatles Pro, there's Beatles Man 69, there's my mate Keir Smith from Nottingham, there's Larry Graves, the Canadian stud muffin, there's uh, Rachel's Ghost, Rachel's Ghost, um, they could, uh, Matthew Street, Matthew Street does not need telling twice to get dressed up and he would definitely want to be in it. Matthew, there is a part for you in this, mate. Um, Beetle Dennis, I don't even know if there is a Beetle Dennis, uh, but if there isn't a Beetle Dennis, there should be one. And if there is a Beetle Dennis, he should be in this. Uh, so get your audition tapes over to me and we'll sort it. We'll get all the roles as assigned and we'll get rehearsals uh, underway. Don't send, don't send me your audition tapes. Uh, that was just a gag. So just to be clear, just to be clear, there is no uh, Beatles YouTubers uh, version of the help movie. <laughs> okay, so the second um, thing that's inside the second slipcase is an, a hardback book, uh, which kind of looks like that, and it's got that on the back. And within the hardback book, we have uh, the two DVDs. So there's no Blu-rays in this. There, it's both both uh, DVDs and um, there's a great, great picture there of the boys uh, on bikes with uh, Dick Lester. Now, now these, these, uh, these DVDs, they're held in place with these little sticky things here, which I'm going to call blibbles because I don't know what they're called. I don't know what they're called and I don't know whether they're a good idea or not, but I think think that they are I think they are um, because basically you can you get your DVD and you put it in the hole and like that and then you can put your sticky blibble uh, there and they're, they're soft and spongy I don't know if you can see that they're, so, they're soft and spongy and sticky and you can put them in there and that kind of holds it in place and I think that those are kind of better than those horrible little plastic wheel things that we got inside 
jewel cases and we get inside DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff like that. So I'm, I think I'm all for the Blibble. Let me know down in the comments if you're pro Blibble or anti Blibble. Uh, that would be interested to hear. Okay, so what is in the box? So let's go through it. Let's go through it. So DVD one um, is is the is the help film. It's the help film. Uh, it's been um, restored. Uh, so the video has been restored, uh, and it really is uh, really is good quality. It's it's nice nice and sharp, especially when you think yes, yeah, it's, it's two thousand and seven. It's quite a long time ago, um, but it is it is really good. Um, DVD two uh, is is your disc of uh, special features, your bonus material then, if you like. So I'll tell you what you get in there. So The Beatles in Hell, a 30 minute documentary uh, about the making of the film with Richard Lester and the cast and crew. That is worth the entrance fee on its own, I think. Uh, it includes exclusive behind the scenes footage of The Beatles on set. Now, you want to see that. You do want to see that. So also included on the uh, the second DVD of bonus features is a deleted scene featuring Wendy Richard. No, uh, no relation to Cliff Richard. Um, but if you are from the UK, you'll know Wendy Richard very well. Uh, it's Miss Brahms. Miss Brahms from uh, the uh, sitcom Are You Being Served? And then latterly, she played Pauline Fowler for years and years and years uh, on, the, uh, on the British soap uh, East Enders. But maybe not so well known um, outside of the UK. Anyway, there's a deleted scene featuring her on this uh, disc. Uh, the next feature is uh, the restoration of Help, a uh, documentary, an in-depth look at the restoration process of the video. Interesting stuff. Um, memories of Help, the cast and crew reminisce about being on set and all that sort of stuff uh, during the making of the film. You get three uh, theatrical trailers. Uh, these would have been trailers that they would have shown in uh, cinemas prior to the film coming out, letting people know when it was coming out and showing clips uh, from it. And you also get some 90, uh, 1965 radio spots as well so quite a packed uh, dvd of bonus features very good very good uh, so now let's have a look what's in the main uh, box so we get this hardback book and really good quality book really well put together uh some great pictures uh in here as well i've taken the dvds out of this sort of the, this front section so you can see that great shot of uh, the boys with their bikes uh there is an intro uh by, written by uh richard lester where he does confirm that the original working title was beatles 2 um i had forgotten uh about that uh great picture of john there and the pictures in this uh this book are uh, mostly uh chronological uh to the film so you know as you go through the film uh, the, the pictures are appropriate george And Beetle Dennis. That great shot of the band playing uh, help right from the start of the movie. Silliness throughout. Uh, fantastic pictures there of um, that the the um, you're going to lose that girl uh, section of the film. And the, uh, we're talking about the, you know, the, the quality of the uh, the restoration of the film. Uh, when you get to the, um, uh, the you've got a Hydra Love Away uh, section, which is there. Uh, just have a look. You can see it. I mean, the quality has been restored so, so well. You can actually see uh, the nicotine stains on John's uh, teeth uh, when he's singing uh, You've Got a Hydra Love Away. Uh, we move on to Austria. And so the pictures are, you know, really, really sharp and really great, uh, you know, great quality. On to Salisbury Plain. To the Bahamas. The, the soundtrack for for this. These are the credits there, uh, sort of in the 
in the middle. The, the soundtrack uh, has been remixed and involved in the remixing. Uh, our old friend uh, Sam O'Kell uh, involved in that. Um, some lobby cards and promotional stuff uh, from all over the world there for the film. And then in the back section, um, you've got kind of two little uh, bonus items. Uh, we've got a poster in there, which I'll show you in a minute, in a minute and a set of um, replica uh, lobby cards, which I'll show you now. Obviously, these are smaller than the, the actual lobby cards that would have been up in the, the cinemas, but these are very nice to have. Uh, very good pictures. I'll just show you these very quickly. That a little bit so much of peppery. Uh, so that's the, your lobby cards, uh, you know, and they do they sit in this sort of section of the of the book, but they do tend to fall out. Um, and uh, it's uh, in the other section we've got a huge uh, promotional poster uh, which would also have been up in the in the cinema. Uh, my local cinema I used to have like a glass glass frame uh, outside three or four of them uh, along the front of the cinema where they used to have these uh, promotional posters for uh, film. And this is great to have. I'm going to have to stand up to show it to you because it is huge. Um, but it is great to have a, a replica of, uh, of that. That is a great souvenir to have and a great inclusion in in this package uh so that is it that's the that's the book that's everything uh that is included in the package so don't tell me down in the comments if i'm kind of on my own here am i out on a limb with my sort of dissatisfaction with the help movie i enjoy all the other all the other Beatles films uh i do have a problem with help i do get it that it's of its time and it's just a bit of fun <laughs> and, you know it's fun watching the Beatles trying to act while they're stoned uh you know, the musical elements of this film are fantastic. Uh, it's just that the script is so cheesy and weak and it's just not something that I go back to very often. So let me know if I'm on my own on that view. One thing um, that going through this uh, deluxe package has done for me uh, this week is that this is a, a product enhancer. This makes the whole help experience uh, a lot more enjoyable. I think the restoration of the video and the remixing of the soundtrack are fantastic. I think that the bonus DVD has got plenty on it uh, to enjoy. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the stuff that you, you know, I think it's a well presented package. The book is good. The stuff you get with it, the lobby cards, the poster, uh, all really great stuff. And, um, you know, if you fancy picking this up, uh, it's, they're not difficult to find. You can buy them brand new on Amazon right now. £43 uh, they are. That's $50 if you're in America or €50 Euros if you're in Europe. And I think that represents good value for money for uh, for what you get. Um, what it has done for me this week, uh, going through this also, is uh, really made me look forward to uh, the Help Deluxe box set, the audio version, the stereo remix, and the uh, you know bonus material and the book and all, everything that goes with the Super Deluxe box sets. Now, if we get Rubber Soul this year, which is what we think we're going to get, that will be a clear indication that we are going backwards now towards Please Please Me, and therefore Help will be the next one. Uh, so that's something to really look forward to. Uh, as well so if you've got the package do tell me what you think of it and um, you know if you want to do me a big favor please give the video uh, a thumbs up it just takes a second of your life but it really does help the video get out to uh, more people uh, I'd really really appreciate that if you're not subscribed and you like what you see uh, please consider supporting the channel uh, by subscribing love to have you on board um, I've got some news to tell you but i'm going to save it for the next uh the next video uh i want to tell you uh some stuff that's going on and also uh what is what i've got planned uh for the channel in the future um there's some lo lots of good stuff in the pipeline so i hope you'll uh, stay tuned for that uh on sunday uh well, well it's 12 the 14th of april um, I'm doing a video with Larry Graves, the Canadian stud muffin, um, part of a, a panel, uh, and we're going to be discussing the much maligned uh, driving 
Rain album. Now this isn't a live stream, I think it's going to be a recorded video, but it will be available to watch on Larry's channel, um, probably on Sunday or Monday at the latest. I would have thought he normally gets these things out fairly quickly. Okay, well that is it from me. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.